Before, when we would do a quality improvement project like re-emissions or mortality, we would get the data and say, how much should we improve? And we would sit around and say, 10%, 15%, that sounds like a reasonable goal. It was easy for us as an organization to bury our heads in the sand and say we were great even when we weren't. You really need to have an honest assessment of where you are, and the CDB was able to provide that. Using the CDB, we can see how much all the other hospitals were able to move their numbers. And if they're able to move their numbers that well, then we should also. The clinical database was a tremendous help for us. Over a decade ago, we chose it as our comparator database of choice because it was comparing us to organizations that were similar to us. The Vizian team is one of the few teams that actually has access to all the other medical centers in the CDB. They can get us together in collaboration and say, these hospitals are doing this, you may want to talk to them. Our rule of thumb has generally been to be in the top quartile performance on any of the metrics. Uh, we measure that directly from the CDB in order to determine that. So whether it's mortality, readmission rates, certainly use the tool to identify specific opportunities uh, for improvements. When we leveraged the CDB and we showed that the mortality from the CDB compared to all the other medical center peers was low, then we moved past the part of, we don't believe the data, let's move into the quality improvement. Getting that data, being able to do rapid cycle improvement uh, is key. In terms of learning, learning from each other and being able to uh, identify those medical centers that we can contact and reach out and, and learn from them directly has been very helpful.